Hello and welcome to Blender Quick Tips. In this week's micro tutorial we're going to look at how to create depth of field and focus in Blender 3D modeling software using the defocus node. Now I'm sure the first question you're going to ask is what is focus? Focus is a photography and film term that explains and describes what part of the image, so we've got an image here, uh, is sharp in the picture and what parts are blurry. Um, so in this picture here we can see that everything's quite sharp, we can clearly see the edges of all the objects in the scene uh, and that's because we've had no focus applied to it. If we have a look at the exact same scene rendered out again this time with the defocus node on we can see that certain objects that are closer to the camera and the viewer are blurry and out of focus whereas the one that's furthest away is sharp and in focus. So focus is used to simulate distance from the object and also to draw attention to a particular object. So in this example we've got this this cube at the back here that's sharp and in focus so we're meant to look at that. So let's have a look at our blender scene here. I've got a standard blender scene here. There's nothing fancy going on. I've just got a camera, a light, and I've got five different coloured cubes. Now First thing we need to do is we need to reorganize our workspace a little bit. So I'm going to drag up my timeline at the bottom and I'm going to click on the option down here and I'm going to select the node editor from there and that's going to become a node view there. And then what I'm going to need to do now is select the camera up here at the top. So we've got the camera selected. Go back down to our node editor and we've got three icons here. We've got the shader node compositing nodes and we've got the texture nodes. Select the middle icon which is the compositing nodes, give that a click and you see it's highlighted and then tick the use nodes box next to it. And Once you do that it will come up with the render layers node and a composite node for the camera that we've got selected at the moment. What we now need to do is add in the defocus node. So go to add, go filter and then select defocus. If you click that and then move the defocus node in between the two nodes there you'll see that the the line goes yellow and it collects the connects the image to the image and image to image and then we just need to drag over click and hold on the render layers Z option click and hold and drag that and connect it to the Z option on the defocus tick to say we're using the Z buffer and then we just need to change a few of these settings that we can now do now we've ticked to use Z buffer. So we're going to move the F stop down to 7, max blur to about 20, and threshold down to 0. Just a quick note about these the F stop uh, is a camera term, but in Blender, what it relates to is the lower the F stop, the more blurry the image can be, the higher it is, the less blurry. Likewise, max blur, the lower max blur is, the less blur there'll be, and the higher, the more blur blur there will be. So there we go. The last thing we've got to do now is with our camera selected still, click on the camera icon here and there will be a depth of field option down there where it says focus. This is where we're going to tell it what we want to focus on, so the object that we want to remain sharp and in focus. So there's my camera there. I think I want to select the furthest away object so I'm going to click that and let's just have a look. That's called cubed 4. So I'll just click that to see what it's called. I click on my camera again go down to depth field focus, click next to the little icon and select your object in the scene that you want to focus on, so cube 4 and there we go and it's as simple as that. So now when I go render image, start to render it out, there we go we can see it's rendered it out and we can see the objects closest to us are a little bit blurry and that's nice and in focus one furthest away. What we want to do though is we want to make it a bit more blurry so I'm going to change the f-stop to 3 and the max blur I'm going to change up to 40. I'm also going to go into my render settings and I'm just going to set my render settings a bit higher so we can really see what's going on there. So I've just moved up the resolution and the compression to 100%. We go render, render image again and it will re-render. Now it actually renders twice with the defocus, once for the picture and then the second time we'll see it's going to fill up the render bar again for a second time and that's where it adds on the focus and works out what's sharp and what's blurry. So we see it's slowly filling that up now. So at the minute we'll see the initial render, all of it's in focus, so everything's very sharp. And as soon as that kicks in, we'll see that the objects closest to camera should hopefully be blurry and that yellow one at the end will remain as sharp as it is there. And there we go, we can see it's just done, so the render's done. And there we go. So, as simple as that. 
The defocus node allows us to create depth of field and it allows us to simulate distance from objects.